All right, and look at our beautiful Earth. Those yeah. images are great. Time right now is 7.15, and it is Earth Week. We're celebrating here on CBS 8. Now, about 20 to 30 years ago, the use of medicinal plant gardens for drug research slowed down, in part because there was no living collection that could be used sustainably or consistently. The San Diego Botanic Garden is working to change that through the use of native plants and ultimately plants across the world. Our chief meteorologist, Carlene Chavis, explored this living laboratory in this Earth 8 report. These plants aren't just pretty to look at. They're actually going to serve as a tool for Western medicine. I'm here at the San Diego Botanic Garden in Encinitas, where we're collaborating with modern technology as well as plant research and a first of its kind medicinal plant collection and collaboration. So this is Artemisia californica. Okay. This is a, a sage scrub. Some people would call Artemisia as mugwort or wormwood. This is also known, this particular species, uh, as cowboy cologne. <laughs> And while some do smell good, the purpose of these budding beauties is to get you feeling good and healthy. Over the last 200 years, medicinal plants have helped produce most of the drugs considered to be Western medicines. Found here in San Diego, California Yerba Santa has an extensive history as a medicinal plant helping for coughs and colds. This is also something that's, that's understood by the FDA to be generally recognized as safe. It's used as a flavoring substance. It's, it's allowed to be put into foods and dietary supplements. Roughly 40% of all modern drugs today are directly and indirectly extracted from plants. Unfortunately, readily available medicinal plant collections are not plentiful. This living laboratory is unique because its collection and collaboration marks the first of its kind in the United States. The focus includes medicinal plants of indigenous people, medicinal plants of the Southwest, and local San Diego flora while implementing conservation practices to sustain these plants for future research. Key partners in this collaboration include the Homol Indian Village of California, a federally recognized Kumeyaay nation. We have our indigenous peoples working with us as equal partners, helping us to pick the plants that we work on, how we study them, and what they're being studied for, so that they're along for the entire journey, um, from growing the plants all the way until potentially biomedical uh, development and commercialization, that they can also then benefit from that. This is the holy grail of sequencing. And speaking of biochemical development, this collaboration works closely with California State University San Marcos and the Salk Institute of Biological Studies. Using medicinal plants like California Yerba Santa and California Sagebrush, researchers will be monitoring changes in a plant's genes and chemical reactions from enzymes. Here at the Salk, we're going to be you know, putting them under different stress conditions and seeing if maybe they make more of these medicinal chemicals that are of interest. That will turn chemical A into chemical B, and chemical B turns out to be this medicinal drug or something that people can use to improve their health. These discoveries aim to give people more options when it comes to living well. Maybe there's a potential that this effort can really inspire other gardens across the United States or the knowledge that we build here to enable local groups to leverage the plants that they have in a medicinal way. I mean, You'll notice here that we've got a little indicator. And if you have a growing so curiosity the about these plants, you can venture along the trails of the San Diego Botanic Garden and learn more about this collection through touch, smell, and technology. And as people see those walking through the garden, it's gonna indicate that they can take out their cell phone. Mm -hmm. It'll be on the self-guided app, which we're calling Story App, okay. with our medicinal tours. If your GPS is activated, hint, hint, the app will start talking to you and provide more information about most of the medicinal plants on display. You are not just taking in the sunshine at Encinitas. You're growing your knowledge of conservation and your own health. Biodiversity is here. It's intrinsically important to the environment, but it is also useful for people. You know, we can't think of nature as existing outside of humanity or humanity existing outside of nature. You tell them, Ben. For CBS 8, I'm Chief Meteorologist Carlene Chavis.